What's up, YouTube? Capital G here. Holy crap, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. The ban list has been updated. This is 100% official. You see right here, it says updated August 24th, 2016. Uh... It's August 24th, 2016. Why Konami decided to pick a random Wednesday in August to update this? I have no idea. I mean, don't get me wrong. I knew that they weren't going to update the ban list until after, like, uh, Worlds because I don't think they wanted anything taken away. Attention from Worlds, one of the biggest events of the entire year. Maybe the biggest, probably the most watched event of the entire year. And it says that this starts um, August 29th. What the freak? Hold on, so this starts on Monday? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so this starts on Monday. I believe the YCSs must be, they have to be this weekend then. But, wow, so this starts on Monday. That is uh, pretty damn, this is just, it's so just crazy. It's so spur of the moment. So we had April to, um, well, this is basically September. So about a five-month format. So let's go ahead, look at the ban list. We're going to do our full reactions, thoughts, all of that stuff. Looks like uh, for band cards, we have Performa Pal Monkey Board. Oh, man. <sighs> Rest in pepperonis, Performa Pals. I told you guys. I, I told you guys this was going to happen. I told you. I knew Monkey Board was on the hot seat. I thought that all they were going to do was they were just going to copy the OCG and... Unless something has changed on here, I, I made that Joker video. A lot of people are like, no, Cap, Joker. I'm telling you, you basically are going to see Performer Piles drop off the fucking planet. You will not see the engine anymore because it won't make sense to run like Pendulum Magicians. Unless something has changed where, like, you know, like Wisdom Eye is at like three or something like that. Like, why wouldn't you just run? At this point, why wouldn't you just run Metaphos? They, they're just like a better engine. So, Monkey Board going, I mean, I'm, I'm fine with it because. It's a one card scale, and you know, there's like no restrictions on what you can pendulum summon. But I, I feel like Joker needs to go to like three. So let's see what else is. Ba oh my god, and Brilliant Fusion is banned. You guys are gonna hear me cry in a video. All right, nothing else banned. Nothing else. What the fuck? What the fuck? Kai I'm done. This is not. This is not. Re Kaiser Coliseum is banned. This is not real life. How the... I forgot this thing was even limited. Are, are you... It says it was... What? Hold on. No, no, no. This was... That was... No, wait. It wasn't limited. It was just... It was at three... Okay. I, I don't know. Someone's going to have to explain to me. I was like... I saw limited here. It wasn't lim... Oh, my God. Kaiser Coliseum is banned. This might be the most troll list of all time. I'm losing my fucking mind. I, I don't understand Kaiser Coliseum being banned. And that's literally it. Those are the only two cards banned. <laughs> Brilliant Fusion is at three, but cards are called CM2 OP. <laughs> Konami, you trolls. Oh my, they didn't, I don't think they unbanned anything. Okay, uh, cards are called CM. Dude, they, I think this was like a mistake. I think this meant to be like a different, I don't understand this one at all. Cards of Coliseum is banned. Okay, that was obviously a mistake. In like two weeks, they're going to be like, wait, we banned what? Okay, it's going to be at like three next format. All right, let's go to the limits, boys. Um, oh, Sierra went the one. Okay, I'm feeling, I'm feeling the flow. I'm feeling the flow. Uh, oh my God, was that eighth? Holy Jesus, they limited Aether. Wow, Komani not... They are not fucking around. Wow. Aether got limited to one. Seer, I think we all understood. Hopefully Dante's on here too. I'm fucking sick of Burning Abyss. You damn Burning Abyss players. You had two years of the deck being tier one. What fucking more do you want? I didn't get two years out of Teller Knights. Even though everything's at three. It's like it's kind of in power creeps. And they got to give the new support and Invasion Vengeance. But come on. Um, Aether, I did not see that coming at all. I thought that it would be obligatory pantheism domain, but I will say this: I I respect Konami and the TC. I respect their, I, I respect their ideology of going after things that aren't directly like ripped off from the OCG. Like you know, sometimes like with Mermil, like the OCG went like to the left side of how they hit Mermil. We went to like the right side, but the deck got hit just in different ways. Same thing with like Necroz, because I think like Necroz cycle got hit in Japan. But like it never got hit here, but you know, like it's just it's just kind of weird. But Aether, um, wow, good thing that that card's not expensive. Uh, can Monarchs live with just three air? They'll have to start playing uh like three Thestalos. Yeah, you have to start playing like three Thestalos. Um, what else we got? Uh, what is this? 
Cosmo Dart Destroyer, let's go. Cosmo Dart Destroyer. Man, it's fact the correct. Let's fact the correct. I fucking called it. I called it on all you motherfuckers. I called it. I called it. I called it. I told you guys that Corinne was a fucking broken card. But no one listened to me. No one listened to Mega Capital G. Everybody was like, no, Cap. Corinne is balanced. I'm telling the entire pendulum mechanic right now revolves around this one card. It is the most important pendulum in the entire game. I'm sorry, man. Specters, your collateral damage. I can say that with a smile because I didn't lose Brilliant Fusion. Unless it went to one, then F you, Konami. But I'm sorry. Like this had to, this had to happen. What you were going to see was every single pendulum deck in the entire game. You even saw Lithium running it in his damn abyss actors. Why would you not run Corinne in a pendulum deck that can summon? It's just too good. It's a fucking evac that can't be destroyed by card effects and can't be targeted and works on both players' turns and is basically immune from battle because if you try and run it over, I'll just bounce it. Like, unless you have Dart Destroyer, you just weren't going to fucking kill it. Or unless you had, a, I guess, another Magic Spectre, Corinne, to run it into or something like that. Dart Destroyer, eh, nothing really much needs to be said about that. Like, it just needs to go to one. I mean, it's just to like dark destroyer is like the embodiment of like power creep <laughs> like it's just good in the graveyard it's good in the hand it's just like good everywhere like it's just too good to be at three uh let's keep on going so far i'm kind of liking this list though um beatrice the eternal lady okay i'm, I'm feeling that beatrice is at one holy fuck <laughs> didn't beatrice just come out in like march <laughs> well i guess technically it's like september so you had six full months but damn um, Beatrice, this tells me, like, okay, we fucked up when we designed Beatrice. We didn't, we, we, like, because Konami sent so many mixed signals. Like, Beatrice, were you trying to buff Burning Abyss, but you had just recently hit them on the ban list. So, like, what were you trying to do with Beatrice? I don't really understand what Konami was doing with Burning Abyss. You literally had just hit the deck on the ban list, and then you release a card that makes the deck, like, infinitely better because it gives them another way to like make their Dante even more powerful and then get another Dante that they don't even run or they shouldn't be able to summon out of the extra deck so like two Beatrice also just two Beatrice turn one is fucking more obnoxious than like fucking triple Dante to be honest because triple Dante at least you can make like Dweller and Regeki them or something but with Beatrice like you know they can fucking fight back and she's like a, a fucking 2800 wall she, her butt is even bigger than Dante's butt so like yeah I'm cool with that um let's see oh my god they hit emergency teleport too uh resting pepperonis to any psychic support coming out i don't i don't think i mean metal foes don't really use this but damn uh so teleport got hit too um for any players out there who were probably gonna play ritual beast because <laughs> they're getting more support in raging tempest <laughs> don't blame konami blame cosmo <laughs> blame the cosmo players uh this one's i mean I think I was gonna say farm girl, but it's it's really not even farm girl anymore. It's actually ten can. Ten can like got this limited more. I mean it would have been farm farm girls would have got it semi limited, but uh yeah, it's really just because of like ten can. Alright, so let's see what else we got. I don't think there'll be too much stuff. Pantheism and pendulum call. Okay, um Pantheism is one of the worst is it's it's i mean even though i guess monarchs needed power key cards it's technically one of the worst design cards in like the last five years it's basically it's basically the best draw card in like the last five years i mean outside of like just obnoxiously dumb should have never been printed shit like six cents it's basically better than like everything it's better than destiny draw it's better than a lower because you not only get things in the graveyard things that can trigger like prime but then you just you instantly go plus one for no reason like hey i have destiny draw but i get to go plus one in addition to that just search whatever you want so pantheism going to one i'm sorry even though i used to play monarchs i was like one of the i mean i'm not even gonna say it. just everybody who played the deck just knew from the beginning i was like this card's fucking stupid <laughs> this card is just not balanced pendulum call um i don't think i agree with that i i think i think they have basically killed pendulum editions now Unless Wisdom Eye is at like three or something, I think this was unnecessary. What do you guys think? Pendulum Call, I mean, you already hit like Wisdom Eye. I mean, I know that there are going to be more Pendulum Magicians or Raging Tempest, and we'll get that in February, but now I guess we'll be getting a new ban list by then. But damn, dude, that seems that seems really harsh. Is uh, well, I, yeah, actually, Wisdom Eye is right here, so um, I don't know. I, I think that's pretty harsh on them. Okay, so Monarchs got hit. Uh, Burning Abyss definitely got hit. Uh, Pendulums got hit too. What else we got? We're still in the spells. The Monarch Storm. Oh my God! They kicked the Monarchs in the fucking chest. 
Okay, Konami, um, if there's another Monarch kit on here, you went too far. Like, damn, dude. I always was on the side that I thought two cards should have got hit. Hit, like, Stormforth and hit Pantheism and call it a day. I didn't think that Aether needed to hit, be hit, but I know Chateau Chat was, he was talking about how, like, Aether is unstoppable. If you're going, like, if you go second against Monarchs, there's literally, like, nothing you can do against it. I guess you can max see it, but, uh, like, max see the, the card they summon. But, yeah, I guess there's really no way to stop that, but... Man, the Monarch Stormforth, um, honestly, back in, like, January, this was the only way I kind of had to out, like, those, uh, the Rafflesia plus, like, um, Cyber Dragon Affinity plays, but, honestly, this is kind of going to hurt some other old-school decks, guys, like, you know, I run three Stormforce and Battery, man, and those, you can't, you just can't run, like, Soul Exchange is just not, it's not Stormforth, dude, it just isn't, <laughs> it's not even about it being on both turns, like, it's about it not being, like, it's not being a targeting card, and the fact that, like, uh, it, it just uh, lets you still have your battle phase, so, this is, wow, that's huge, they really went after Monarchs, um, okay, so that's all for the limits and the bans. I think it's okay so far. I kind of wish they would have unbanned something, but whatever. Um, oh my jeez, no. They semi-limited Maxi. Who was, who was, somebody said that. Somebody said that they were going to do something crazy. Like they were going to, um, potentially hit Maxi. I can't remember what YouTuber that was. And I thought it was, I thought it was ludicrous. And they actually did it. No fucking way. Okay. Konami, please. Maxi is like the definition of a balanced card. Are you kidding? I think you know what I think Maxi got hit. I don't think it's I think it's I think it's bottomless trap hole slash upstart goblin syndrome. For those of you who don't know what that means, that means that Konami doesn't like when oh Book of Moon, you could throw that in there too. Konami doesn't like when they see a card at three in every single deck in the entire meta. They they've shown us throughout the years over and over and over. Why do you think Upstar Goblin is limited? Why do you think Bottomless Trap is limited? Why do you think Evac Device and Book of Moon are limited? Because in previous formats, during the GX days and the Five Ds days, those cards were like I remember Book of Moon. Like you played as many Book of Moons as you could. Uh, Solemns were like the power dictates the Solemn cards would be at one. By the way, Solemn Strike still at three for the win. Okay. Um, that's the only thing I can think of, Maxi. Maxi is literally, like, one of the most fair cards in the game. There's no way Maxi is, like, broken because, like, your opponent keeps special summoning and they give you resources. It's the ultimate risk-reward, you know what I mean? So, I, thought, I think Maxi was fine, but it's good that I didn't buy my three Maxis for my Utopia deck because now I can just pick up two. Um, Thunder King Riot, thank freaking goodness, Kanad. God damn. Can you give a, can you give a motherfucker a Hornet at two? I mean, they got Wind Up Magician at two, but Zamaiti still banned. So I'm pretty sure Zamaiti is still banned. So, uh, yeah, Wind Up Carrier Zamaiti is still banned. So rip. Um, I mean, I guess Wind Ups can't, well, I'm sorry, Wind Ups, unless you have Shockmaster, like Wind Ups can't do anything without Zamaiti. And even with, even with three, they would need three Zamaitis to do anything like remotely relevant. Um, and then we go to the no longer restricted cards, Gold Sarcophagus, doesn't matter, Allure of Darkness, doesn't matter, because Burning Abyss have kind of got wrecked, and then Thousand Eye Restrict, a card from 10 years ago that was completely uh, irrelevant, the day that Konami wises up and fucking unbans Thousand Eye, or uh, Tribe Infecting Virus, they'll, re they'll realize the same thing that happened with Thousand Eye Restrict, and that happened with Sukiyomi, and that happened with Edition of Aeth, these cards are not, they were good in GOAT format, and they're not good anymore, because GOAT format that was fucking like 14 years ago uh 2004 12 years ago some somewhere around that but anyways holy shit guys uh let me know what you guys think um damn uh well they kind of <laughs> they went after a lot of shit dude i'm still on this kaiser coliseum shit i i don't understand that at all <laughs> they definitely went after monarchs hard four cards um they definitely went after burning abyss i, I think it's strange they didn't hit Dante, you know what's kind of funny? I still think PK Fire can be extremely good under this list. Um, you, yeah, I think I think maybe you'll have to run more Phantom Knights. Um, they went after Pendulum Magicians pretty hard, but I don't like think that they needed to. Go, Pendulum Magicians are fucking that deck is 100% dead. Monarchs and PK Fire and Burning, well, I think Burning Abyss, uh, and Burning Abyss would be okay. You just have to run some of the crappy ones, but like I think some of the decks will survive. I think that fucking I think Pendulum Magicians are like 100% dead you need to run like a different version now and um going second just got a little harder because uh two maxis don't look to open i don't even now i don't know if i'm gonna run maxi anymore 
Because I, I like two maxis is just like it's pointless. You know what I mean? Like I, I feel like maxi at three, you just draw it so often. But now with two maxis, like I'm not gonna fucking open with it. So what's the point? I don't want maxi in turn three. I want maxi turn one and two, and that's it. You know what I mean? Because that's when people want to go yellow. So let me know. I actually think the list is okay. I think they should have unbanned some things, obviously. Um, but it's okay. And especially if we're going to have four month formats, I, I'm, I can I can live with this. Because I can look at Monarchs and be like, they're not really like broken. Because now they're going to have consistency problems out the fucking ass. But uh, Burning Abyss will no longer be able to make like... I mean, I guess they'll have like Dante plus like Beatrice... But that's pretty much it. You guys let me know what you think. I've been talking too long. Thank you guys for watching as always. Uh, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And subscribe if you haven't already. I would appreciate that. You guys have a good day.